Hello, everyone, and welcome back as always. We're back again. Hi. Hi. I still don't have my lightsaber, ladies. What's going on? Get it. <laughs> I keep saying I'm going to, display. and I still have to drop you guys some cutouts that I have of Star Wars characters, and I keep saying all this, but eventually we usually see each other every week, and it's just been hard. You know, we're social distancing like everyone else, and I just don't really see you guys physically as much. So eventually you will have those props. Eventually I will have a lightsaber again. But I'm glad you guys. <laughs> guys came prepared that is good right. yes, <laughs> so right here. i do have princess leia and han solo with me today figures from disney infinity so we are going to be watching episode 206 today this one's called weapons factory idea okay, they got, it's not gonna be good they gotta be very gonna careful yes, it was very intense baby. last episode because <sighs> i love all it. angles going at them yeah, because the action throughout the whole entire thing, I love their banter, and they're in this dangerous territory, just so many people dying all around them, and yet yeah, they're right. still able to stay focused and banter with each other, and poor Obi-Wan was actually injured, injured and yes. it can happen at any time, we know he survives this, but he's such a strong person, and for him to be like, oh god, and you can really see that he can't do much, kind of like, was heavy for me, I'm like, holy crap, like, yeah, this is bad, this isn't a good situation to be in, but Ahsoka and Anakin working together was just amazing, I love seeing them all the time. That's I say that, but it is so much fun to see that. And I love that other Jedi, Mundi or M Mundi or something like that. Yes, like I really Mundi. liked him, and he was I also too. In the He's very wise. Yes. He yeah, is. and he, he was injured wise. too. Not as bad as Obi, but he was able oh, to man. keep pushing forward because he had to. That was the only way they were going to survive. He couldn't be like, "Oh, what was me? I'm just leave me behind." Like right. he kept pushing and fighting and, he got and more guys than them all, right? Once I think so. I I love all the yeah. battle scenes in this because it was like did it, did it, did it, just running in. They're like bing, 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 bing the whole time, just deflecting everything, and it was very intense. So they went into this whole battle not realizing that they had the upper hand. Like everyone there was already ready to attack oh, well them equipped, yeah. yeah very yeah, well yeah. ready yeah and so going in it was pretty bad so hopefully they'll be able to destroy the factory at this point mm -hmm. so, so yeah. i know i've said many times in the past that jedi they have a code to follow and they are all about like not killing and trying to make peace but they do kill when they have to so they were killing a lot of those aliens on that planet last time mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they had no other choice so when right. it comes down to decision making you have to do what's good at the moment or what they have to do to survive to at the moment. Right. They have to defend themselves. Because yeah, they were just definitely. mowing down these guys like with their lightsabers. Mm -hmm. And I was like, holy crap, they're really taking out a lot of guys. Because we see that a lot with droids and we do see it with people now and again, but to see it more so with people I felt like in this, I was like, holy crap, like they're really killing mm -hmm. a lot of people. <laughs> Insane. But they're willing to do it to them. I mean, I'm, it's not the right thing, but they have to in order to complete mm -hmm. this mission correctly. Yeah, no, I agree. Could, could for Obi, he really, even though he was injured, he was laying out the plan to get mm -hmm. into the That's factory. Great, yeah. So. Can you imagine being like that and you're in war and you're gravely injured, you're probably in so much pain and just uncomfortable, you don't know if anyone's going to shoot you at any moment, and it's like, okay, well this is what we have to do, so you still have to do your job, you still have to be focused, you, all these people are relying on you, so that's very hard to do, so mm -hmm. kudos to all of them, I give them props for how hard they work and how professional they stay, you know? It is. It's absolutely amazing. So this one, again, mm -hmm. called Weapons Factory, and I hope they can destroy it. Mm -hmm. I think that was the intention, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. So shall we get into it, ladies? We shall. Let's go. Let's do it. 206. No gift is more precious than trust. Trust mm -hmm. is very big. Mm -hmm. Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker and his Padawan Ahsoka Tano. Prepare to assault this heavily fortified installation. Republic Commander send Jedi Master Luminara Unduli and her Padawan mm -hmm. Barazothi okay. to reinforce the attack. The only safe landing zone is south of Skywalker's position. Yes, General. Barris, I assume you've made the necessary preparations? Precisely as you instructed, Master. Focus your fire on the gun emplacements here and here. Because it's, only because it's only after we neutralize mm -hmm. the guns that we can push for the factory. Now expect stiff resistance and from... don't forget Stop to top off your energy cells and ration packs. Oh, Once we leave, my... there'll be no resupply. <gasps> wow. My briefings might go better if you didn't interrupt me every time I tried to... I wasn't interrupting, I was trying to help you. Look at it. I would appreciate. It's not about trust, it's about getting the job done right. Uh, so Ooh. you don't trust me to get oh, justice. Oh, my guessing. He could have let her talk and he could have just right, directed her. Skywalker's waiting for you. Listen to me. Well, if you don't trust don't me, argue then now. maybe you should Oh my goodness, arguing? Yeah. Don't tempt me, Snips. 
If you're both bringing it with you, Padawan Lerner, Barris Offie, at your service. Glad to meet you. I'm Ahsoka. Every Geonosian building has a series of catacombs beneath it. Some of the tunnels are close enough to this cliff. Wall they look very busy. You could <laughs> cut a hole and make an entry point. Yeah. Once inside, you can find the main. You have to take a left and a left and a right. And blow the factory inside out. But I have instructed Barris to memorize the labyrinths, all 200 junctions. If whoever's going in there is going to be successful, we'll need to create a diversion. Precisely. That task will be carried out by you and I, Skywalker. Master, I can do this. But unlike Barris, you aren't prepared for this mission. Not to worry. Fine. My Padawan is reliable. As you well know, I can follow orders. It's mm -hmm. decided then. <laughs> I guess it Especially is. Especially here. They're gonna be best friends. Mm -hmm. You feel Ahsoka's not up to the task? I never said that. What is it then? Nothing. Let's prepare the men. Mm, what's going on? The factory is operating at 50% production capacity. We have 10 garrisons of new droids ready to deploy. The super tanks are not ready, but when they are, the Republic forces will be routed. They are. Okay. That looks like a lot of droids. Well, it is a droid factory. As long as we can destroy them faster than they can make them. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I like her a lot, yeah. <laughs> Good, use them as a shield. We now commence attack. I'm behind you. I'm finding a way in. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Very <Nice> cool. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't touch the sides. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> we have to find another way. The noise is perfect. Ooh. Yeah. This thing's sticking out of like feelers or something. Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> I have to clear my thumb more. <laughs> Bink! Uh oh. They should have entered the catacombs by now. Left at the next junction. It is pretty confusing. <laughs> <laughs> you do remember the way, don't you? Ooh. Of course I do. Oh, I don't know. Ooh. Yay, force! <laughs> wow, yeah. Uh, he's he's following. No. <laughs> Great. My lord, I beg you to let us use the secret weapons. Oh no. Thank you, my lord. Oh boy. Deploy the super tanks. Attack formation. Ooh. Super tanks. Oh boy. Rex, pick your targets. Yes, sir. Elevation 427. Whoa. That's wow. A lot of Come on. The main control room is this way. Shields are holding. They can't touch us. That's a relief. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. Nothing stand it. We're here. Close wow. the lid on that guy. Quickly. It's pretty big too. Oh, he went right to there. Guy in the control room. That is impossible. Oh, and now we make ourselves scarce. Uh, oh, that's the best. The bombs are active. The Padawans did it. And just in time. Now they have to get yeah, out of there. Can get out? Collect their pathetic little bombs. Then we will kill them. Pathetic little bombs. Hmm. Take this! <laughs> the silver I like that last <laughs> Oh! I was so hoping yes blow up while you mock. <laughs> I want to draw those tanks out onto the bridge. I always come prepared, Master. Let's go! Uh -huh. <laughs> Ooh, they took a... Ooh. Ooh! 
Oh, they still got it. Oh. Oh, boy. Uh, wow. <laughs> That's <laughs> scary. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to move fast. Good, they're all on there. Haha, -ha, bridges! <laughs> oh, yes. Bye! Good. <laughs> Good job. The evacuation ships are arriving. I suggest you get on one. Not without Ahsoka. Ahsoka, where are you? He's gonna take this as a failure on her part. Oh, jeez. Where'd she go? And those silly droids are in there, so... Okay, yeah, where, easy. <laughs> where'd she go? <laughs> Bye! It's a way out. Hopefully the they don't get attacked. The bombs. This tank could destroy the power generator, and probably us along with it. I guess no. that's our only choice. Master, wow. can you hear me? We can't make it out. Can't make it out. Fire! No way! Oh, oh my god. can't be. Oh, wow. Maybe that's so indestructible, that tank, that they won't get hurt. Oh. Ahsoka. Oh, Ahsoka, can you hear me? Be at ease, Skywalker. At ease. We need to act now. Ahsoka Deal. and Paris may still be alive down there. He's going to stay. How okay. do you think yeah. I'm married? It's probably best not to think about it. Mm -hmm. I'd sure rather have died fighting up there than starve to death down here. We'll run out of air long before we starve. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, right. Always the optimist. I too care for my apprentice. But if their time has come... Well, I still plan on celebrating this victory with my path. In person. <laughs> what happens to us oh. now doesn't matter. Master, I know you're up there. And I know you're looking for me. Uh-oh. And then I would shut down that lightsaber okay, so yeah. go, oh my God. <laughs> No time. <laughs> Yay! Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. Woo. I knew you'd come yeah. looking for me. Now hug. I never doubted you uh -huh. for a second. Indeed. Yeah, you're so tough. Your master never lost faith in you. <laughs> Oh, that's good. I would have been hugging. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> that was shocking. I'm like, there's no way they're going to kill them. There's no <gasps> way. Like, I was like, oh, Ahsoka has gosh. to at least be in the Clone Wars all the way through. And the reason why I say that is because I used to play Disney Infinity. I don't know, like, when that exactly took place during this, but um, I knew she was in that. And then we heard rumors that she's possibly going to be in the new Mandalorian series. So I was like, I don't know, because that takes place many years after. So I'm like, she has to be alive. <laughs> yeah. I was so shocked. I'm like, oh no way. <laughs> the only thing is with that tank, that tank was indestructible. So I was wow. like, Ooh, I'm hoping. Yeah, I was Especially yeah. so close to That's it. Yeah. That was a good idea that you had, because I was like, how the heck are they going to survive that? But that was the only way they could, because they, they really did. They destroyed it right then and there. I'm like, there's no way they had no time to escape and the catacombs or whatever were like so complicated to be able to get out of that there was no way that they were going to get out in time so yeah. i'm glad it was strong enough to and we saw that too where when the droids were coming out initially with that weapon they were getting pummeled by all kinds of like lasers and cannons and they had no problem so nothing, with was, the touching shields and nothing yeah. was touching them yeah so we saw how indestructible they were until the bridge yes bridge is always in our favor bridges, right <laughs> it's always an ongoing joke bridges, with us yeah. Perfect, though, because they destroyed the bridge it couldn't destroy the tanks but they destroyed the bridge and they just it's great thinking. Yes. Yeah, because yeah. if you can't get yeah. it that way, you have to think outside the box. And how perfect was that? And that, that was so good. impressive, the way they were just climbing with their hands around. And I know they used the force, too, to kind of, like, maneuver like that. But you're way above, you know, this Jeez. huge oh, cliff. So Ooh, I'm like, if you're not focused, I know they could probably use the force to kind of stop themselves. But that pit was, like, so freaking big. So I'm like, I don't know. So that was very time. courageous. Yeah, they it's were a already going like that. over when they were putting the bombs. Yeah. And I like how they show how strenuous it is where when they're trying to flip back like they had to hesitate take a breath and then flip over so it's not like yeah, yeah. we're using the force there's no problem it, just, it doesn't like exert you physically or anything you can just keep doing it but it does it takes a lot of energy and time and focus and i like seeing that and 
I thought it was kind of cool to see the masters fighting together. And then you saw the Padawans fighting together. So that yes, was great too. That's good. I like the Padawans working together. It, one plan didn't work. The bonds didn't, they were taken away. Ahsoka took care of it another way, but they worked together. Mm -hmm. That's nice. good that they did, yeah. I agree. I love how they had very different ideas. Yes, they're all Jedi, but they're all so different with their cultures. And it was neat to see how they saw things differently. And we already know that Anakin does have a lot of emotion invested and he shouldn't be like that as a Jedi. Even Luminara was saying like, okay, well, yes, I do care for my Padawan. I will mourn her if this is truly the end, but I also accepted that her fate's gonna happen one way or another out of my control. So it's interesting to see how they have different ideas. And I think yeah. she believes more in the Jedi way because we even heard that with Sakura way back a few episodes ago with the lemur people. That's and right, yeah. <laughs> when um, she was talking about her master and how when it came down to it, she had to sacrifice him to save many. And it was really hard for her, but it shows that you have to make the best decision possible and how you just see things differently. You have to remove yourself from being so bonded to help oh, people overall. So I agree more with Anakin, you know, but that's the emotion behind it where I'm like, you don't want to just accept it and be like, oh, well, you know, she's probably, this is her time. I will mourn her, but otherwise she's on her own. I'm like, oh, heck no. It's like if my pot of mom was stuck especially, in there, I'd want to know. Especially you know? when the <laughs> enemy is done. So why I mean, not look for everybody? Maybe they'll bring that's more right, forces yeah. in fast. I don't know. But yeah. yeah, like I'm like, holy crap, I would definitely want to take the time to go find my Padawan. Like she's family now. And I know you have to, of course, care for everyone. But at that particular moment, I know, again, like it's war and they can get more people there that will fight them off or something. But I'm like, I would totally want to stay and try to help out. So thank God they did stay and they were okay. And I like how they met up. I really want Anakin and Ahsoka to at least hug or something. But I know it's a Padawan yes. master relationship. But still like you're still kind of like family you know and, <laughs> um but it was interesting to see that because also yeah. anakin is a little smug too but when it came to luminara and her padawan like they're very professional and how they talk to each other and you could tell they care for each other and but they it was planned still... they planned better than mm -hmm. yeah, so they yeah yeah they they're more on a whim kind of thing like yeah. they do plan yeah. stuff but yeah like they are just like not always making it up as they go along but yes like the others were just so planned out Hand and then down, once yeah. all the bombs were gone she's like i don't know what to do now i just don't know yes, what to do right. she didn't, yeah. so That's that crazy. is also a huge weakness too because if you can't That's follow through plans. with your initial plan you can't improvise you're done so at least oh, anakin yeah. and ahsoka are good at that and i already knew that but i was so impressed with ahsoka and the other Padawan, and, and they're like, okay, well, we have to sacrifice ourselves. There's no other way. It's for That's the right, people yeah. more than just two people. So we just have to, you know, kill ourselves trying to blow up this whole place. So I'm like, holy crap, to self-sacrifice like that, even though we know Jedi do that, like they truly believe it. And they're like, no, we have to do this. This will save everyone out there. So, mm -hmm. you know, no hesitation. Yes. And they did yes. it. Very committed. Yeah, that was, was very impressive. impressive. So much, yeah. Yeah. yeah, again, I was so shocked, but I'm like, there's no way they're gonna kill him off. But I really felt it. I was like, no, no way. I'm like, like we're still early oh on gosh, in the series. I can't and, that. <laughs> but I was glad to see that Anakin did care, and he was yes, very I stubborn too. with that. And he's like, I'm not gonna let it go. But again, going back to his human side or his more emotional side, where he doesn't know how to detach himself. So that was actually a good question on uh, Luminara's end where she was like, can you really let her go when her time mm -hmm. comes? That's right. You know, just thinking of I the was, movies. I was <laughs> upset with him interrupting her with her plans. Oh, that was very rude, I thought. Yeah. Jeez. He didn't trust her. I know, I didn't like that either. He could have just sat back and just let her talk. And if she forgot anything, he could have said, oh, well, in, to it. you know, also we have to do this, whatever, X, Y, Z, but he just, he literally just was right in front of her. Yeah, and he didn't correct her on anything. He just said exactly yeah. what she was going to say. So she was yeah. totally fine with it. So it shows in a way that he doesn't fully trust that she'll get the job done because even though he didn't directly say it, Ahsoka was right. She's like, no, that's exactly what you meant because he actually said the words. But 
it's hard for him, you know, because he's also kind of controlling in that way as well. Like we're managing. Yeah, and yes. I'm glad that Ahsoka got out and she actually did complete the mission too, because again, the original plan wasn't going to work. So she was able to improvise to make it work. Yes. And I was hoping that she was able to get out of there on her own. But at the same time, she actually used what Anakin taught her to communicate, to let them know where she was or just to use a signal or mm -hmm. something. So that was mm -hmm. good that that worked and I'm glad that she yes. was able to follow through. So it was kind of hoping yeah. that Anakin would be like, Oh my God. And kind of acknowledge that she can do stuff on her own. She can complete a mission that you have to trust her more. So I think that was the whole point of this episode, but I didn't really feel it as much at the end with Anakin, but I'm hoping he does see that. Mm -hmm. I do yeah. too. Yeah. She saved so many people. That's right. Wow. Yeah. So many people dying all the time. And we always have great comments on Patreon and through YouTube for everything we watch. But with Clone Wars, it's a lot of fun where we had someone recent say that we know what happens with the clones later on in the movies after this, you know, in the third mm -hmm. movie in the epi episode three, uh, Revenge of the Sith, pretty much all the clones with Order 66 actually take out all the Jedi. And yes. It's sad to think that here you have the separatists and yes, they will kill anyone in their way. They don't care, but they mm -hmm. use mainly droids for right. all their battles right. for the most yes. part. So when we see the droids die, like, yes, they have thinking capabilities, like they do have emotions, but it's just not human, you it's know, like human. I know you can debate right. that, yeah. but That's we right. just don't feel that as much. But when it comes to the clones, like they're made, they're grown to be fighters, to fight on this side with the Jedi, with the Republic. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Look at that's Rex their in this life. episode. Yes. Yes. I love He's Rex. very committed. Yeah, He's and good. it's so, oh it makes it a lot sadder to know the outcome later on, to know that this mm -hmm. is what they're for. You know, this is their purpose. Like it they're is. brought it's, into being. It's mind boggling. Yeah, yeah right, to yeah. be these soldiers, like to die. And we just see them drop all the time, just oh, like the droids yeah. do. And it shows you, yes, you're in war, but they're just bred for this purpose. So who's really in the right when you think about it? I mean, That's like, true. why not just use droids? Maybe because it's better with money and they think better, you know, so they are better soldiers. It's kind of like slavery, you know, like, but they're yes. conditioned to want this and to really be loyal. And I do really enjoy the clones. Like they are individual people and they are so loyal. And we saw a lot that have really good human personalities that really care for like kids and all kinds of civilians and care for each other. Mm -hmm. And, but mm -hmm. it is so sad. Like they were programmed, which a Jedi don't know, of course, until the end to kill the Jedi once Order 66 takes place. It's just yeah, insane. It's yeah. Yeah. It is. So it is good to watch the Clone Wars to really understand that because in the movies, we didn't really get that feeling. It was so sad to see all those Jedi get shot and betrayed like that. But yeah. to actually know what the clones are about, that they are actual people and to know more about them and how different oh, they all yeah. are from each other. It's just really sad, you know. It is. It's sad. Mm -hmm. Very sad. Yeah. But I do really like Rex a lot. Of course, like, we notice him a lot with I his markings. Right. Like, yeah. I don't want to go. I don't want to retreat. I don't and it shows retreat. you yeah, again you how loyal messing. and conditioned they are, too. I shouldn't say conditioned, but it's true. Like, he mm -hmm. is such a strong soldier, and he's brave, and he's like, I want to go out, and I'm not going to run cowardly away. Of course, he's going to listen to the Jedi, but he was ready to go head on and be like, no, screw this. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to yeah, go after right. them and <laughs> risk his life. And we do see the other, like, a few other clones that you know the names actually stick because we see them yeah. enough but then we see all these other ones that you know just always you know just get blown up and it's just sad i know mm -hmm. it is sad yeah <sighs> i like this episode it was good yeah i really it did like it good. too yeah. yeah very intense the action was crazy last episode because we were getting into Ooh. this whole battle i was like holy Ooh, crap is yeah. this going to be the entire episode and they just kept moving forward we mm -hmm. didn't see the other guy at all so i was wondering no. if um he maybe he stayed back with uh, obi yeah maybe he stayed with obi oh, yeah maybe, so i'm kind of yeah. wondering so because he was pretty injured too so he probably was just healing with him so we did see a lot of characters from the movies and that one alien guy who's clicking and stuff he was actually from the movies too that's when they um had that big battle with padme and i think um anakin and obi-wan were there they're like tied up and they had all these crazy monsters go after them yeah this big oh, battle yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they had that crazy like furry one with the big teeth and it was like ah. <laughs> so oh. I was like holy crap oh, okay. <laughs> so that was fun great show can't wait to watch more so thank you so much for watching yes. okay. please subscribe and we'll see you very soon as always bye, bye guys may the force be with you <laughs>